Well, hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another exciting Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Hey, today we're talking obviously about Camera Raw and it seems like everybody's into shooting raw these days or not knowing why to shoot raw or should I take my camera and turn it on raw. I personally like to shoot raw plus JPEG. That way I have the best of both worlds. Yes, it does fill your card up a little faster, but the memory cards are cheap and they're easy to come by. So we are in Photoshop Elements 2021, and we're gonna use this picture right here uh, of a cruise, and we just are gonna click open. Okay, and now we can see here that the new Camera Raw 12.3 has two different UI styles. It has the new ACR default style, or it has the vertical film strip and the single panel style. So we are going to go with the new ACR default style. And the vertical style is, like I said, the secondary one we can use. But we're going to use the new ACR style. It says uh, one multiple edit panels at once, or open multiple edit panels at once, horizontal and image focused film strips. And we're just going to click on that. And there we go. There is the new Camera Raw in Photoshop Elements 2021. Now, if you've never shot in Raw or you don't understand why it opens up in this, and many people are saying and email me like weekly and say, why in the world does it have to open up in that Camera Raw? Because it's not going to go directly in your editor. Your editor is designed to edit JPEG images, basically. So first it's going to come in Raw because it wants to know if you want to do any like minor touch-ups. What I mean by minor, minor touch-ups is, first of all, you can select the white balance, and you can select any white balance you want. You can see how it changed the wood grain on the ship here. This is the actual cruise ship we were on. Daylight, you can see where it actually tones it down a little bit, makes that wood grain even look nicer. So I would suggest, even if you shot in daylight, choose some of these other uh, white balance settings just to see if something else comes out, pops out at you. That looks really too, uh, too cool. Here's fluorescent. Fluorescent adds a nice little touch, but still the trees are a little too blue for me. Uh, flash photography, yeah, it kind of makes it like too bright. Or you can do a custom. That's cloudy. Let's see what we really liked here. Shade. Shade looks uh, fairly good. Now the temperature, obviously you can change your temperature here. You can also use your white balance uh, picking tool. So what you do with the picking tool, when you select the picking tool, grab something that's white, like it's on top of this cabin here. And what it does, it does a balancing of the white balance. So it's a custom white balance. You could also use the, this over here, this wall. Or any natural gray item will also bring out the color. So we're going to leave it set as custom. You can have your temperature, so you can bring your temperature up. All right, we can make it really uh, hot, or we can make it really cool. Okay. If you double click it, it'll put it back to where it started at. We can play with the tint. We can bring the tint down or up. Eh, let's put it right about there. All of this is really based on your taste. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Exposure. We can bring the exposure down. We can bring it up. Very subtle. All right. Contrast the same way. You can bring it up or down. Maybe we'll bring it down just a little bit. Your highlights, you're working on your highlights, like up in the sky here. There's some highlights there. You can bring that down. You see that? Bring it way down. You can actually pull out some clouds out the background. If you see the clouds coming out in the background there. Okay. Won't be as blown out. So maybe we just want some of those clouds shown so we know that the background's not blown out. The shadows, anywhere there's shadows, maybe like on the floor here. Uh, under these trees, there's a little bit of shadows areas. We can bring that up. We can bring it down. 
We don't want to underexpose the shot too much. The whites, any of the white areas, naturally we can work on whites. Okay, you can also work on the darks or the black areas. We can bring the black areas up here. We can bring them down. Okay. Clarity I do like. I like to have it uh, more clear of a picture so you can use clarity to bring it up. But watch how much you use this because it can make it look a little fake. Okay, so watch how much you're using it. Bring your clarity up. Your vibrance and your colors. We can make them pop. Look how much they pop in, on the water now and on those trees. But again, watch how much you're using this because you don't want to do too much because you're going to make it, again, look fake. Your saturation is saturation like we always have. Saturate the wood tone. We can make it black and white. Okay. We can go down to details. And under details, we have things like sharpening. You can sharpen the photo up a little bit. Noise reduction. This is nice if you're getting any grain granulate uh, in your pictures. What I mean by noise is if it's a low light shot, and sometimes you can see those little speckles in your pictures, this will actually clear that up and take that out. And color noise reduction is the same thing, but in color. All right. Then you go down to the bottom here. You have the processes as version 5 is the current, and you can change that. So version 5 is what we want for calibration. You do have an auto button. If you feel comfortable enough, you can use that. If not, try it out. You can always try it and then undo it. You have a cropping button, so we can make some fast crops here. Red eye reduction, which if you're getting red eye, you got a little bit more trouble in photography than you might believe. And then there's resets. Reset the open, reset the default. So if you want to reset the picture altogether. So the camera raw, if you want to look at the toggle before and after, or this is default storage. Okay. It's before, that's after. After definitely looks better. So this is camera raw, as I said, in Photoshop Elements 20. 21. Here's a before and after shot side by side. So I believe the after shot is much more uh, pleasing than the before shot. And that's one of the reasons we like to shoot in camera raw. Just makes it so much better to do so. And there you go. There's a blown up picture before and after. You can see the difference in the trees. Okay. And the vertical, or yep, horizontal, I'm sorry. And before and after that way. So they give you a lot of ways to look at your photograph. Once you're done with your camera raw adjustments, all you have to do is go down and you will click on open. And what that does is it will open it right into your Photoshop Elements editor. Next, you probably go into expert mode. Next, we go into expert mode. Click on your layers. And then you can continue working on your photograph. So folks, I hope this helped you out with the new Photoshop Elements uh, camera raw photoshop elements 2021 camera raw and uh, use it try it out shoot some raw pictures with your camera come back to your editor and play around a little bit you know you can never mess it up because you can always revert it back to the regular image and you will be just fine folks thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed to this channel please click the subscribe button click the little bell notification so when i post the next video you will be notified there will be more coming very very soon on Photoshop Elements 2021. And until next time, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now.